the Masai Mara Game Reserve has been termed as the eighth wonder of the modern world for the spectacular wildebeest migration. Yet, environmental degradation and the decimation of Mao Forest nearly brought the magnificent jewel to its deathbed. The Mara Basin is a transboundary ecosystem which covers 13,504 kilometers squared. 60% of it falls in Kenya, while 40% is in Tanzania. River Mara, which emanates from the Mao escarpment, has two major tributaries, River Nyangores and River Amala, which join and flow as River Mara, eventually draining into Lake Victoria. But the Mara ecosystem is under threat of continued degradation. The Community Forest Association at River Nyangores has established a tree nursery of 76,000 seedlings to boost their forestation efforts. We have now prepared those things. They are ready, but the only thing is to the market. But in the previous years also, we cut support from WWF to report those things, and then we planted those one now. We now we have planted uh, along the river banks around uh, 29,000 seedlings, which are all, they are now planted along the river banks in this uh, Mara Basin. But the demand for energy, which remains far below the supply, has driven women into the forest in search of firewood. To, 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 the firewoods are now going to be a problem, like especially, you know, those people who are now coming from far, they waste their time, no development, because they come uh, now from here, they come three hours to go to the forest to cooperate and then go three hours. So you can now, now after day, yeah? Yeah, exactly. reaching now there is go to rest. No any other uh, activities have taken place. A similar scenario at River Amala where there is one ton transportation of charcoal. Water vendors here use the beasts of burden to transport water from the river to the consumers. The donkeys trudge up and down the little slope, occasioning erosion with equal measure. Thus, the survival of the Mara ecosystem depends on efforts of committed conservationists. The Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, also provides guidance and technical support to communities residing here, which have formed Water Resource Users Association's rules to help protect the two major tributaries, River Amala and River Nyangores, which are the main lifelines of River Mara. The challenge of financing some of these conservation activities, because for example here we are talking about donor, donor, donor orientation, but donors are going to go, so we left with the, with the water resources ourselves. So financing is one of them, even though Warma has a facility from the Water Services Trust Fund, which we are taking. To stop the damage, the Mara Conservancy is undertaking two water projects along River Amala in Bomet and Narok counties at a cost of 2.2 billion shillings. The project under the Nile Basin Initiative, besides preventing erosion, may ultimately save the residents and the Mara ecosystem. It will be a long time before people here embrace environmental conservation in a more wholesome manner. For Saving the Planet, I'm Judith Akolo.